All right, so I purchased this Pataka, Pataka uh, mag case and wireless chargers that go to my car. Uh, one's going to be a suction cup type, and the other one's going to be the vent type. So this actually is uh, mag magnet mounted, where there's five magnets on the top and four magnets on the bottom, and it wireless charges uh, QI, Q Qi, wireless charging in the middle. Okay. Um, read some reviews, watched some videos, and all were positive, so very few negative about it. So I figure I'd try it out. I've always wanted a magnet mount for my phone for driving without having arms and whatnot, just taking the phone off. I wanted a strong magnet connected connection and to wireless charge uh, is definitely a plus. Uh, currently use a magic mount that I got at Costco and my phone just like flies off half the time because it's not because uh, I have the magnet um, mounted down here so I can have the wireless charging at home here so it's not a very strong bond uh, if it and unlike if the magnet was mounted in the middle anyway this comes with a case or actually you have to purchase it separately for your particular phones and they the, this particular company loves iPhones and they have a couple of cases for galaxies the S Samsung galaxies they have cases for the S8 plus S8 and the S9 and the S9 plus I don't think they have any uh, Samsung note cases uh, since they're probably not as popular no no anyway uh, I have the Galaxy S8 and this is the case it's super thin I'm more of the type that doesn't really drop phones much, but when I do, I, I do like the protection. I have the OtterBox commuter, and I've had it for my last phone as well, for my Motorola, and it, it's worked great. I love it. I've dropped it a few times, and it screen has never shattered, so I'm really apprehensive to go to such a slim case um, since it doesn't really have the, the bumper protection like the OtterBox does. You can see the the difference in thinness or thickness. It's significant. But anyway, um, this the the vent comes with the USB-C ports or connectors because that's what this uses. I don't know if you can see it right here. For the wireless charging, it uses this USB-C port, uh, which they do provide uh, for all their wireless G mount uh, mounts. This one also comes it comes with the suction cup mount, also for your dash. I'm not a big suction cup type person, um, but I noticed that these balls, they're the same size as your Garmin, any Garmin. Um, pretty much any Garmin I should say. Um, I use the Garmin DrySmart 6.1. Uh, well anyway, it's a 17... It's a 17 millimeter ball that Garmin uses. So if you don't like the mounts that Pataki, or I'm sorry, Pataka offers, uh, such as the Dash, the CD, um, CD holder mount or the vent. Uh, what I got was a dash mount. Um, you can get these for like two for seven bucks, ten bucks uh, on Amazon. But yeah, they they fit. You get adjusted accordingly. I like it a lot. Um, I haven't used it yet, so um, I'm gonna uh, try them tonight at work and see how it goes um, but here's the let's see if you can see it um, it's the IG Pastra, PS Tara iTrek anyway uh, I think I paid like nine dollars eight nine dollars for it free shipping so it comes with 3M tape on the bottom and uh, bought a set of two great deal. 
And there's various other mounts for Garmin. There's uh, larger brackets if you want something bigger, uh, like double the size, if you feel uncomfortable with such a small size. But I'm going to be um, sticking Velcro uh, tape on the bottom so I can move it in and out of various cars. Just to give you an example of it fitting, in case you don't trust me, uh, you just unscrew this, tap, snap it in, oops, wrong way. And then you tighten it. Boom. Easy. You can tighten this. Oops, sorry. You can tighten this or tighten this for the proper angle that you want. Nice, huh? Easy solution. For now, I'm just going to put it right here. And let it stand there. For the vent holder, these vent holders are really tight. So you have to be very careful when you insert it into your car. It's more for horizontal mount, I would imagine. has probably better um, security. But... I have both. I have horizontal on the sides and then vertical on the middle. Um, I'm a little apprehensive to put this on my vents um, for my vertical or even the horizontal because it's so hard to put in uh, as far as I don't want to damage my my vents. Um, but yeah, it was it was really tight to to push in. I'll probably end up just going with my dash with Velcro um, on my personal car. But yeah, this is the vent holder. Um, see how it works tonight. I'll try it tonight on my work car. And I'll um, update my review on this. So I connected the power in and see this lights up. Whether that's a positive or a negative for you when you're driving, whether it's too bright, I, I don't know. Um, it looks cool from what I see. But then again, it's daytime right now. And when you're driving, more than likely, you're gonna have your, your phone mounted on there. So it's gonna be hidden. But yeah, it's just, the case is already magnetic for this particular um, brand, the Pataka. And you'll just like look for it. is cool. Um, I had magnets from my magic mount mag, uh, mounted here and here to see if it would hold and it held but the wireless charging for this did not work. It would initiate but then it would pause. It would say wireless charging paused and it would disconnect itself from the wireless charging um, I, probably because there's some some of the magnets were were interfering with the wireless charger of of this I don't know so I removed the outer box case from this and it's amazing how you get so used to the outer box case the thickness and when you remove it it's like half the size but there you go. So I'm going to snap this in. Easy. Slim. It doesn't cover the buttons. So you have, you're pressing the stock buttons. Unlike the outer box case, or most cases, you're going to have covers for your ports and, and buttons to activate 
the stock buttons, but in this case, I think their logic was so it doesn't interfere with tempered glass because most people put it on if they're going to put like a skin. And it doesn't seem like it's raised, so you should put some sort of protective film or or tempered glass on this so, because when you have it flat it's going to scratch. It feels nice. Just don't drop your phone. So it has the microphone hole, ports, they're not covered. camera so I'm going to test this see how it works boom charging it's saying it's fast charging too it's good stability I just wish they had a more protective um, case. They have one for the iPhone X, and I think the newest version of the iPhone, I can't remember, but they have the the um, Mag, Mag Case Pro. It has the bumper guard, and it's a case with the magnetic um, propriety ma magnet built into it. I wish they made that for Samsung. Not all of us love iPhone. Yeah, it's really nice. So, because I bought this mag case that doesn't really have screen protection, I purchased this 3D curved screen protector. It's a tempered glass. Got it from Amazon for like 10 bucks. It's got pretty good reviews. I never had these before. I've always just had the film uh, on the older phones before Gorilla Glass came to play. But with this being so fragile a phone, I didn't want to take a chance. And this uh, case not being as protective as the OtterBox. But I'm going to put this on and see how it goes. When it comes with this tray, this install tray, which is cool, so you can precisely install it. So I just added this tempered glass, the Otao, O-T-A-O, tempered glass for my Samsung S8, and it looks good. It was an easy install. You can barely see the seams but you can notice it. See there's only adhesive in the edges where the black is. It's responsive. I've read reviews where if they were to drop the phone with this tempered glass or with any tempered glass the glass would just fly off the phone. Um, so this is the first time I'm trying it. I'm going to give it a shot. Hopefully I don't drop it anyway. But uh, as long as it offers like the scratch protection and if it does happen to provide the protection of it dropping on the edge because I don't think the mag case is going to provide any other protection than that um, then I'd be happy. Um, but also I've also read that the company will send you a replacement if your tempered glass does fly off or it doesn't perform um, up to standard. And when you install the tempered glass, here's the guide that it comes with. And this part for this phone is going to be on top because of the U. And then you just put the guide on top and you click it in and then you insert the tempered glass from the bottom and then you just press down and carefully just adhere the, the adhesive and then you remove this 
guide and then boom, easy install. Doesn't bubble up or anything and it's responsive. Here's another side-by-side -side look of my OtterBox commuter and the Pataka case. The height and then the thickness. Oops. It's like half the size practically. As far as thinness. Okay, I installed this Pataka wireless magnetic charger here and I used the 3M ball I referenced and I'll put a link on my video. I stuck it onto my panel there. And it works great. Instant charge. I've been using this for a couple months now and I love it. It's firm. Can move tilt it with ease and it'll stay put. So I really like this purchase. If this video was helpful Please leave your comments below and give me a thumbs up.